Create and manage Active Directory users and computers. Create AD objects using automation tools such as DSAD, CSVDE, LDIFDE, and of course PowerShell. We'll get started with PowerShell. Right click, run it as administrator. And we're going to create a new AD user. We're going to name our new user Rebecca Higgins. And let's verify that our new user is created. Let's go down to users, and there's Rebecca. And if I go back here and To new user, new AD user again. So it's asking me for the name and back on Active Directory. We see Rebecca was the last one created. We'll call this guy Test One. And Test One should be created. Let's um, refresh. Might have to open it again. And test one's created as well. Let's add a password to Rebecca by right mouse clicking and selecting reset password. We'll go ahead and uncheck this and give her the default password. Right, Rebecca has a password. Let's minimize a duct and go back to PowerShell. We're going to create a, another user here. Now I'm using the tab completion to complete this out as soon as I think that I put enough information to where it's gonna gonna fill out the proper thing. And we'll set the password to our standard password. And that's it. Let's maximize a duct. Let's refresh. Gonna have to open it again. It's it didn't display, so we should see user one right now. And there it is. Now, these down arrows for test one and Rebecca Higgins indicate that they're disabled for now. But user one is, is enabled because on the syntax, 
we made sure that user one was enabled. Next, we're going to create a user template. We're still in a duct. We're going to select marketing, right mouse click on it, new user. We'll put in something genetic, generic. <laughs> so marketing template, that's what we're going to call it. And that's going to be the username as well. Right, so now our marketing template user is there. Let's right mouse click on it, go down to properties, click on members of, and G marketing, okay, and okay. Now, let's say that we were adding. Um, a new member to our marketing team we could just come over here to the marketing OU right mouse click the marketing template select copy and fill it in with the new team member Now let's right click on Josh Fairbanks, go down to properties, member of, and you see that he shares the same memberships with our template, most notably the G marketing. Now we're going to do some bulk creations of some of our AD users. We're back into our PowerShell window. We're going to do DS query. group name All right, so that's a list of our administrators using dsget. So right here it shows that we have domain admins, enterprise admins, and local admins. Next, we're going to import some users into our users OU using CSVDE. So right now we're inside of the marketing OU. Let's click on the users OU. This is all the standard users. And when we scroll down, you remember Rebecca, test one and user one. So this is the container we're gonna be importing our um, new users into. I have a notepad file with the users. It is called users.csv and it has Peter Graham, Janice Bourne, Edgar Dunn, Belinda Hart, and Mae Jameson. So let me just go ahead and minimize this. We'll go back into PowerShell and we'll put the CSVD command to work.
All right. So it's showing that five entries were modified successfully. If I go back to a duct. So we have all our new users that were imported with the CSV DE command. Our next exercise is to perform an offline domain join using djoin.exe. We're still working within PLAB DC0. Let's open up a command prompt. What I did was right mouse clicked and I'm selecting command prompt admin. Let's enter the command for djoin. So we're going to be provisioning PLAB SA. And that's going to be our save file. Had a little syntax issue, had to re-enter stuff. Computer's getting provisioned. It's showing the provision was successful showing the PLAB SA was provisioned in practicelabs.com and it's showing that our text file was saved as well. This gets saved in the Windows Systems 32 directory. Let's switch machines to PLAB SA. We're now in PLAB SA, one of our work group computers right now. We're going to map a drive um, right now. Right, so now we're we're in the C drive for PLAB DC. Looks like it saved our provisioning data to the C drive, so let's right mouse click and copy it. We're gonna paste this file to our local C drive on PLAB SA. Next, we're going to launch our command prompt on PLAB SA to do some configurations with um, NetSH. Alright, so we, we set our static IP address on PLAB SA. Let's change our directory and we're going to perform the djoin execution.
right, so we got our confirmation that the provisioning was successful and a reboot is required. Let's go ahead and issue the shutdown command. Our Plab SA machine is restarted. We're in Server Manager. Let's go ahead and verify that we did indeed join the domain. And there it is, PlabSA01 DomainPracticeLabs.com. Right now we're gonna talk about how to manage inactive and disabled accounts. We're back at our domain controller, PlabDC. We're gonna be working inside of PowerShell. Let me quickly go back to some of the users that we created. So remember, Rebecca Higgins was, was disabled, but we're gonna actually work this from PowerShell. All right, so we just enabled Rebecca Higgins' account from PowerShell. Let's go back to AD. Okay, it's not giving me the refresh button. All right, I need to close out of AD and come back in. So going back into AD, let's scroll down and you see Rebecca Higgins is now enabled. Right now we're going to configure some user rights. This is done in group policy so I already opened up the default domain policy then opened up computer configuration policies windows settings security settings user rights assignment and now i will double click on allow log on locally going to define the policy i'm going to add a user or a group and my group today is practice labs g marketing go ahead and click ok apply and OK. Now we're going to grant the logon local permission for remote desktop. Double click it. Define the policy. Add to the group. G marketing. Apply and OK. Let's go ahead and add our admin user as well. Add the admin here as well. Let's X out of all of this stuff. Click on Plab DC01. Click remote. Let's select the users. G marketing selected we'll go ahead and add them let's click OK and OK let's go back to PowerShell we're gonna do a GP update front slash force to put these policies into effect successful. So now with these changes, the administrator from G Marketing should be able to log on remotely. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching.